I'm Johnny, and it's time for Contrafactuals. Now, before I get started, I got two things to say. Things number one, uh, thanks to all y'all for watching. This has been a pretty amazing journey, and it's only just beginning, and it's just going to get even more insane and awesome and wonderful. So, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks number two goes to all the people who came out to Nils's and danced to the Technos. My friend Nils had this little party and invited me to play some techno, so I did. And there were some people dancing, so thanks to all those, and thanks to all those who are listening and enjoying. And thanks to Nils for inviting me. So thank you! Yeah! Yeah! So thank you. All right, now on to contrafactuals. The idea is, is that a contrafactual is something that could have been but is it? So what does this have to do with anything? Well, I was going for the bus one day, and I found this packet of papers, as it were, that was just sitting on the seat. It wasn't like those little weekly newspapers that you see like all over everywhere. No, no, no. This was a printed out packet of papers, and it was very strange. In fact, here they are. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can tell by the typography here. But this is some seriously old school stuff. Now, I'm going to scan all of this. And I want you to tell me in the comments down below what you think this is. And who do you think it comes from? Let me give you a couple examples. A man leaves all kinds of footprints when he walks through life. Some you can see like his children in his house. Others are invisible, like the prints he leaves across other people's lives, the help he gives them, and what he has said, his jokes, gossip, that has hurt others, encouragement. Pretty deep stuff. The family tree of Van Gogh's, his dizzy aunt, Vertigo. <laughs> his magician uncle, where did he go? You know you're from Saskatchewan when? You burn your yard rather than mow it. And it just, it goes on and on. There's, there's some things here that I'm not entirely comfortable with saying on the YouTubes. It's kind of, you know, it's... Well, it's racist. Yep. Clowns at the circus are funny as heck. Not hell, folks. Heck. But clowns at the wheel are a pain in the neck. Like, you cannot make this stuff up. And then to top it all off, there's the bylaw licensing requirements for vicious animals. Vicious animals. It's off the wall. I don't know what to make of it. So I want to know what you make of it. I want to hear your most sane, reasonable explanation and the craziest story you can come up with. Tell me all about it down below in the doobly-doo. The last collaboration was super fun. This collaboration could be even more fun. And I'll tell you what, if there's a crazy enough story, maybe we can even illustrate it. Don't forget, folks. Contrafactual collaboration is fun.